Getting started with nature journals can be pretty simple, especially if you start in first grade. So I'm gonna unpack the materials that I use for my early elementary students so that you can get started quickly as well. I'm Joy and today we're just going through my nature journal supplies and we're gonna start with my absolute favorite for young students and that's actually this Prisma Color pencil set. I like using pencils with young children because watercolors are a process that one needs to use and be equipped to handle once you're older. I actually break up the different parts of nature journal entries. So you've got writing, you have drawing, you have watercolor entries, you have, you know, lots of frustrated six-year-olds. Start here, Prismacolor. You really want the Prismacolor. I know they're more expensive. This set I found at Staples for a good price, but you don't want to skimp with the Amazon brand or the any other brand because those blend nicely and the kids really enjoy allowing that blending to happen. So the next thing I do is for my youngest kids, they get one of these. They get, we actually have a huge set of Peterson Field Guide coloring books. They're not to color in though. Oh no. They are to copy. They, if they see something then out in the world and they don't know how to draw it, they can either take it up and they will hold it up to a window and take their nature journal or just a white piece of paper and then they will trace it. We also have a light board and that helps or they can look at it and copy it into their journal. And this is a really great way to give a child some success while they're in the process of learning how to draw. We also do drawing lessons. It's kind of like a continual thing that we're trying to learn how to do, but a very young child can get really, really frustrated. So we allow them to trace. I also allow them to trace the actual shape like of a leaf or a seed, just stick it on there and trace it. It's totally fine. Um, that's actually why in my trees book, I include a lot of different things for kids to trace or copy into their nature journals. It's because this book is designed for the first time nature journaler to, you know, just get a sense for how to like what to even put in a journal. What does, what does one put in a journal? So small things. And that's actually what I'm going to be going over in my, how to teach keeping a nature journal free workshop. And I'm going to link to that below because I'm going to go over more of this in more detail. Check that out down there. And all my school age students do have a set of Winsor Newton, the smallest set available. I'll link to that below. And this is for learning how to paint. This is not really for their nature journal entries. They're kind of regular. This is more for their painting lessons. And then if they feel comfortable, they can include those in their nature journals. But for the most part, for the younger years, I stick with pencils. I have two types of books that we like and that we use, and it kind of depends on your age. And the first one is this minimalism art book. These books come in gridded paper. I don't even know if you can see that. That has the dots on it. And this is perfect. The paper is a little bit slicker and it works really well for a pen or a pencil. This is not good watercolor paper. So that's why it's really good either as a field journal, if we know we're not gonna be water putting our watercolors on, or just if we're in the pencil stage and that's just all we're gonna use. This one's great. And then this one I had recommended by the CMEC and it's fantastic. This is good watercolor paper and I will link this below. It's Artesia and my son has written his name on it, but you can see it's this fabric binding. It's got this cute little pouch that they can put stuff in. And we usually have a ruler in there and some other tools. And then the paper, it does have a little bit of a texture with watercolor, especially botanical. It's better to not have much of a texture, but guys, we're going off of what's, what's going to work. I love it that it does lay flat. So that's fantastic. And then we keep everything in these nifty little canvas bags. Their little paints go right there, zip it up. And then we have a basket 
and I just keep everything on the shelf in the basket. And then when it's time to do our nature journal entries, we all pull them out. I just pull the basket out, slap it on the table. Everybody grabs their stuff and we do that at home. Or if we're going on an adventure, I will get a bag and throw them all in there and then we'll hit the road. Okay, so now I'm just gonna show you three different ages of students, a six-year-old, a 10-year-old, and a 13-year-old and their level of work so that you can have the ability to kind of think for yourself, like what are my expectations? Am I expecting too much? So this first one is a six-year-old, a freshly minted six-year-old did this one. And you'll notice I included over here, kind of I wrote down what she said. I wrote down what it's called. I wrote the date. And then she just drew the picture based on what she saw and she used pencil. And this to me is totally fine. It was kind of a pinky purple, so she combined. And we're going for effort here. We're not going for, does it look like the thing exactly? No, she tried to color it the color that God made it. Like, we're doing well. She got the petals. She even got the little detail of the stamen right here. She made the stem green. Like, we're winning. Next we have a tulip poplar. And this is an image that was created by a 10 year old. So 10 year old boy made it. I mean, it really did look very similar to this. He used paint and that was his preference. I didn't require that. He could have just used a pencil. It would have been just fine. But I want you to notice up here, he wrote today's the day's date. He wrote the name of the leaf and he wrote it. There's some misspelling there. One thing we left out was the weather, but it was included in this other entry here. That's like actually a little cloud with a sun behind it. And that's one thing we like to include if we can. So as they get older, they start to inc include a little bit more things. So this one is a 13 year old girl. This is the actual leaf that she glued and dried into the journal. And then this is her watercolor painting representation of it. And we have the description says maple leaf from the front yard. It has the date. There is no sense of the weather, but I really love the attention to detail, including the spots, including, you know, this was interesting to her because of the modeling, right? There's these different colors that you're trying to get. And I bet the colors were even closer. So she's got a bunch of dots and I know you can't, you can see it there and then you can see it in the original. So it's the attention to detail that we're going for. Just are you seeing the point of using a nature journal is to help us see more closely and to study it with some purpose <laughs> so that we're not just, I'm just staring at this thing. When we draw it and we try to represent it while on our paper, it's really a response. And I'm gonna go through all the different types of nature journal entry options that we might have in the Teach Keeping a Nature Journal with Confidence workshop. That's totally free. I want all moms, all homeschoolers everywhere to be able to at least get started using a nature journal. I, what I hear the most is people say, well, I don't do that because I just don't really know how. So we're gonna kick perfectionism to the curb and hopefully I'll see you in the workshop. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.